Oh, I play Judy Hopps. She is a bunny cop. She is the first bunny cop on the police force of Zootopia, which has been, up until this point, um, comprised completely of predators. Uh, I think that I am as animated in real life as most of the things that Disney puts on a screen <laughs> in animated form. Uh, I think Judy and I are both fiercely optimistic and idealistic and a little bit self-righteous. We're both triers uh, and, and we're similar enough that I think the casting was probably appropriate. Nick Wilde is a, a sly, slick fox who uh, hustles in Zootopia, he believes very strongly that you are what you are and you cannot break out of the preconceived notions that are put upon you based just purely on the animal that you're born into being. And uh, Judy has to team up with Nick as she gets no help from anyone else on the police force. Uh, she has to team up with Nick to solve crime. Well, there are 14 missing mammals, we learn in the very beginning of the film. There are 14 missing mammals in Zootopia. Um, Judy is not put on a missing mammals case. She's actually a meter maid, but she volunteers uh, to the wife of a missing otter to help find the missing otter. And she, because she gets no help, she asks this con man with whom she's crossed paths a couple times, Nick Fox, Nick Wild, um, to help her solve the case uh, because he actually is a key witness. Zootopia is a magical, rich metropolis uh, where, well, Judy believes prey and predator all live together in harmony. That, of course, doesn't end up being the case. But it is a land where, it's a land made up of several different lands, of four different lands, where the physical habitations um, are appropriate for each species of animal. It's a place where they can all live and get exactly what they physically need. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a cushy job. I mean, I could definitely do this forever. I go in in my PJs, I bounce around all day, I don't have to worry about makeup. Um, there is something really, really liberating about only having your voice to express a character. And I never realized before getting involved in animation how much I rely on my face and my body language and even costumes in order to help express who a character is. And to only be left with your voice is really challenging but really liberating. I definitely think he'll recognize mom's voice. Uh, I will definitely show him the movie. I think I might wait on Zootopia until he understands that what he's seeing on screen isn't real. Because right now, anything he might see, I mean, Winnie the Pooh exists to him in the world. And so I don't want to ruin that experience for him in his realizing that, well, if Judy Hopps is really mom, then Judy Hopps isn't really a being that I could, you know, be friends with. I mean, people should go see this movie because it's hilarious. Uh, because it does pack that surprise emotional punch that we all believe going into the, the movies are not going to affect us because we're grown up and then we end up sobbing halfway through because something's incredibly relatable. Um, it's an action movie. It's an homage to Hollywood cinema and wonderful TV shows. I mean, it really, it's one of those, it really does have a little something for everybody.